All right, so let's go ahead and look over the solution to the do now. It says recipe calls for two and one fourth cups of flour. The recipe makes three and a half dozen cookies. Write an equation relating the cups of flour and how many dozen cookies you can make with it. So we can see all of our equations basically have the C set up as the Y and the F set up as the X. So if we're going to go ahead and write this equation, that means we need C over F. Um, since C is our cookies, that puts us at three and a half over two and one fourth to find our constant of proportionality here. I'm going to go ahead and change those uh, to improper fractions as I write it. So this is going to be seven and one half divided by nine fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the second, multiply by the reciprocal here times 4 over 9. I can do some cross-canceling here if I change this to a 2 times 2, and that's going to give me 14 over 9. So my constant of proportionality is 14 over 9. Uh, looking at the equations here, the correct equation is going to be here, answer choice C. So let's go ahead and write down the aim for today. Today's aim is that Kipsters will be able to complete tables, of proportional relationships. And we're going to do that by following up on some of the information that we've already learned in this unit and some of the information that we used yesterday. So we're going to be writing equations and using those equations to help find the missing pieces of tables. To get us started off, we're actually going to start with the equation that doesn't have a table in it. Um, it says during their last workout, Izzy ran uh, two and one fourth miles in one quarter of an hour. What is her speed in miles per hour? So basically, this is asking us for the constant of proportionality. So I could definitely think about this as a table where x is my hours and y is my miles. So in this particular situation, I have that I I've traveled two and one fourth miles. And, oops, sorry, I have that backwards. This is my x hours. This is my one fourth of an hour for two and one fourth miles. So if I'm finding my constant of proportionality or my speed here in miles per hour, I want y over x um, miles per hour. So to go ahead and do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and put my 2 and 1 fourth divided by 1 fourth. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that division. I'm going to change it to an improper fraction while I'm at it. 9 fourths divided by 1 fourth multiplied by the reciprocal gives me oops, 9 over 4. times 4 over 1. And so that's going to give me 9 miles per hour. So our unit rate here, or our constant of proportionality, is 9 miles per hour. That allows us to write the equation um, y miles can be traveled 9 times x. All right, so how far can she run in two-thirds of an hour? So I'm looking here at this two-thirds of an hour, and I want to relate that back up to my chart up here. Where does that go? Well, that goes in my x column. So I'm going to go ahead and use this equation following up on the work that we did yesterday, y equals 9x. And I'm substituting this two-thirds in for x, and that's the piece that we really need to make sure we're using the equation and we're using our t-chart to make sure everything's plugged in correctly. Here I can do some cross-canceling to go ahead and do this multiplication. And that's going to give me y is equal to 6 miles. 6 miles. Over here um, we have a situation where we're asked to find out about 5 miles. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to throw that one into my chart as well. 
That goes over here in the y column this time, since we're talking about y miles. That means when I use my equation over here, I'm going to be plugging in for the y. So I'm going to have 5 is equal to 9x. Um, in order to get our solution here for x, I need to go ahead and divide both sides by 9 as my inverse operation. Remember that 9 divided by 9 just gives me 1. So I get that x is equal to 5 ninths of an hour. We could do some work to figure out more specifically what 5 ninths is in terms of an hour, but I'm happy with that fraction. All right, coming over here, this is really the meat of what we're working on today. It says to complete complete the table below relating the cost of bananas with the weight of bananas being purchased. Um, so when we're looking at this, I'm going to think about this as the number of dollars per pound. So this is going to be my, oops, this is going to be my y. This is going to be my x. So y over x. Now, looking at this, I'm going to go ahead and change this because it looks like I've got some fraction work over here. I'm going to go ahead and change this into fractions just because that's what we'll be working on. I'm going to make this 1 and 1 half. So my y over my x is equal to 1 and 1 half over 1 half. So as I go ahead and look at this, this is going to be 3 halves divided by 1 half or 3 halves times its reciprocal 2 over 1. Doing some cross-canceling, that tells me my constant of proportionality is 3. That allows me to write my equation. Um, it's looking for cost is C, so that's my Y, C, is equal to 3 times the amount of bananas that I'm looking for. Now all I need to do is fill in the rest of this table here and I've given two situations here. One where my cost is the amount of dollars. So I'm going to come over here where my cost is equal to 3B. In this situation my cost is $4. So I'm going to plug that in for C. 4 is equal to 3B. And I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3 again because that 3 over 3 really just becomes 1. I get that 4 thirds is equal to B. I can simplify that if I want to. I can make that 1 and 1 thirds, but you know me. I'm perfectly happy um, with improper fractions for now. This is four-thirds of a pound, or one and one-third pounds of bananas. So I'll go ahead and throw that up into my table. Four-thirds pounds of bananas. And the last situation is I'm finding out what happens when I buy three pounds of bananas. So I'm going to use this equation. C is equal to three times B. Uh, my pounds of bananas, that's my B, so this is going to go in for my B, three times three. And that tells me that my cost is going to be $9. All right, my cost is going to be equal to $9. So again, it's really focusing about um, our key information here is using our table to plug into our equation in the appropriate place. Let the equation determine the math that needs to be done and the operations that need to be done to solve it. So go ahead, pause, take a few minutes, um, work through your partner work time. Uh, you'll be working through this independently. Uh, at any point in time, you feel like you need to look through one of the problems. Um, the solutions are going to be shortly to follow, but I'm going to give you a couple seconds just to pause this so you can go ahead and work on that partner work on your own. If at any point in time you feel like you're completely stuck, that might be a good time to go ahead and switch on over um, and join the middle group. Okay, let's take a look at the first half of this uh, practice work here. Um, so when we're looking at this, uh, we can see that 
we have our cups of flour and our dozen cookies. When I think about labeling these as X and Y, I definitely think about this in terms of chronologically. I definitely need the flour to make the cookies, so me making cookies is dependent on me having flour. Thus, I've made uh, the cups of flour X, which you can identify that I've labeled up here, and then went ahead and put into a table. Um, finding my constant of proportionality, it's y over x. I have two and a half dozen cookies for three and a third cups. Going through the math here, five halves divided by ten thirds. Doing a little arithmetic should give me the constant of proportionality is three fourths. Um, that allows me to very easily write the equation um, y equals three fourths x. Again, where we're looking over here in our table, where y is our dozens of cookies and x is our amount of flour. So we're looking at this first one. Um, it's asking how much flour we need to make uh, four dozen cupcakes. Um, so looking at that, we know that Y is talking about our number of cupcakes. So I'm going to be plugging that four in for our number of cupcakes. So you can see in this equation that I have inserted or substituted the four in for the Y. Going ahead and solving, dividing both sides by three-fourths. Doing a little arithmetic over here off the sides, we should get that x is equal to 16 thirds. And the last question with this problem set is, how many dozen cupcakes can you make with two cups of flour? So thinking about this, our cups of flour, going back to our table, is our x. So you know I've labeled this as x, and I've also substituted the 2 in for x down here. So y is equal to 3 fourths times 2. When I go ahead and do my arithmetic there, do some cross-canceling, I'm going to get that y is equal to 3 halves, or 1 and a half dozen cupcakes. Moving on to the second problem, um, our answers definitely should like look like this. Um, I've labeled the red paint as x and the blue paint as y. So that gives me um, our y over x is 2 and a half over 1 and a half. Doing the arithmetic down here gives me a constant of proportionality of 5 thirds and the equation B equals 5 thirds red, or the blue paint, which is our Y, is equal to 5 thirds the amount of the red paint. Um, if you need the arithmetic and the equations, so we're plugging in down here, always plugging in um, blue paint for red paint, or sorry, blue paint for our B or red paint for our R, and these are the equations that we should get, and we should be able to solve with a little bit of arithmetic there given to you. So at this point, if you are utterly confused about any of this, you should be hopping over to the middle group um, to seek some clarity around some of the work that you've already done. If not, um, go ahead and jump on over to your alone time, complete your alone time, and then move on to your independent con playlists.